okay, four is good for me. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I wanted to go over the virtual office, and probably all of you kind of already know it, but maybe maybe I might have some tips that might help you, you know? But certainly we're going to record this for our teammates and that maybe it will help them too. So I'm really new with Zoom as far as screen share. So you're going to have to bear with me. Ah! <laughs> All right. So um, let me just put this on. All right. And. Ooh, fancy. Fancy. All right. Let me just make it pretty here. Okay, so this may seem very, you know, mundane, but there's a lot of people who really don't even understand when you get to your virtual office what you need to do. So basically, you're going to come over here to parties. And we're, what we're going to do is we're going to set up an event. And um, you've got two options, my parties or create party. So we're going to create a party. Okay. Oh, and also, Boho Soul is my most favorite right now. I hated it. I hated it at the beginning. It's like it's grown on me. Have you guys tried it? No. Have you smelled it, Rachel? I have, yeah. It's not my favorite yet, but I love Dress to Chill. Yeah, well, I totally thought this was like, ooh, ooh, I don't like it. And I kind of just set it aside. And then I've been playing with it for the last week. And I've also just, like, I, I brought it over to my mom's house last night. And she was like, oh, my gosh. That's awesome. <laughs> I have a customer that adores it. Oh, okay. Well, give it another try. Because, you know, I was like, but yum. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we're going to come over here. And we're going to very, this, this is so fast now. Once you get this down, it just takes. Just a few minutes. So I'm going to say it's, I'm going to name it as Jennifer's Posh Party. And nine times out of ten, all of these are just on online. So I'm going to just say online party only. Um, if you if you're actually having a home party, you can set this up as a home party because you're going to you want to put your party orders, no matter what type of party they are, in a party, right? Okay, so you would just put your your description, whatever you want to, goes here. I mean, you, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Um, welcome. You get it. Okay. All right. Scrolling down, select the hostess from your contacts. Um, one of the things that I always, always, always preach is that as a consultant, you should always have, always, always, always have a party okay, where you are the hostess. And why do you do that? So you can get the perks. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, because it's amazing how much they add up. It really is. You know, because like if you have a party, you know, once you get over uh, 200 in referrals, then you get 10%. So you get 10 perks for every dollar spent. So that's like huge. Okay. Um, so when you come in here, you're automatically filled in as the hostess. Okay. So even though I said that this is Jennifer's posh party, I'm going to be the hostess. Let's just pretend like this is a Facebook party. Okay, I'm going to be, then I'm going to be the hostess. Maybe we'll let Jennifer be the hostess later. <laughs> okay. And then over here, um, where it says hostess ship disable, if I click that, what happens is all the orders in this party are going to be able to ship direct to the customers. They will not have the option of shipping it to me. Now, if you want it to be them to have the option of shipping to you, you would leave that unchecked. However, remember that every cart, regardless of where it ships to, has $5.99 shipping. 
okay, but I I always click this because to me, where I live, I have to drive so far if they're local, and then I have a lot of out of state people. Um, when it's an online party, I don't even fill anything out here. It's, it's really not necessary. And then, to be honest with you, there's a glitch in the, um, uh, uh, what am I saying, home office's thing here. But let's say you're having a home party and you put an address in there. The map doesn't go there. Does anybody else notice that? Yeah. Yeah, or, I've noticed that. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I've noticed that. Okay. So, I mean, if you wanted to put an address and it's a home party, then I would probably just go up here and put it in the description. You know? So, anyway, I always leave that blank. Uh, and then down here, your start and your end time. I mean, it's very easy. The, the, the most you can have it is two weeks, and it's already kind of preset. Sometimes what I'll do, depending on what it is, is I'll try to have it end on a Saturday, so that way I will get paid on Wednesday from that party. Hey, there she is. <laughs> yeah, I almost forgot. That's okay. Welcome. Um, we have Rachel's here tonight. Hi. <laughs> Is Brandy still there? Yeah. Oh, okay. We have more people than want my screen here showing. Hey, cool. Okay. All right. So going back to finishing up the party, um, it's I'm gonna just leave it public. You can make it private, but why not go ahead and just make it public? You know, because you could get some people coming in and order on your party, and you get the perks to your advantage. Okay. Now I'm just gonna hit save. Um, Paula, the one thing that I said before you came on is just always remember that you should always, 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 always have an open party. <laughs> yeah, I learned that from you. <laughs> okay, and you do it because you get the part. Yeah. Okay. And even if you didn't have anybody that came in and ordered and you were the hostess, there, it doesn't matter. Just you know, your your if your time expires, just close it. There's, there's, it doesn't it doesn't hurt anything at all. Okay. All right. So then it goes to the cards, and whoever you put as the hostess here is the one that has the cards. Okay. I do have a question. Okay. Um, when I have uh, my parties open and I I didn't have any orders, do I still sub submit it when it's done? Yeah, you should, even though it's zero. Because I have been doing that, but then I thought, well, maybe I shouldn't do that. No, that's fine. That's fine. Um, adding a guest is really simple. You know, hopefully you have some um, people in here that you can add. Um, and I always have a dummy for myself. I mean, this is a real email address, but I have a dummy for myself for a reason. And it's to do testing. So I encourage you guys go in and play with your um, setting up parties because that's how you get a lot of experience and just playing around with it. Okay, so this is actually another one of my email addresses. And um, so I was preloaded. If I want to add somebody in that's not already in my contacts, you would just click on this again and then you would type their name in city. Okay, so send an email invitation to your guests. I did that on this mystery hostess party. Okay. It's first time though. Okay. I haven't haven't got any responses back. It, it looks like it has this, you know, like attending over there to the right. 
Do they have a way to respond to that? Yes, they do. Okay, so what happens here is, um, like, cause see, I, I added myself this dummy account here. Okay, so I click on that and I want to choose an operation. The only operation is <laughs> okay, um, and then I'm going to execute. All right, so what this brings up is this is going to go here. I need to scroll down here. Okay, um, this is an example. Yeah. Okay, of the, and I'm going to show you a finished one I had already done earlier, so I don't have to go through this. But anyway, awesome. so I can put, huh? Awesome. I, I wanted to know what it looked like. Yeah. Uh, okay. So this is just um, text for, for your information. I'm, I can't spell, so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. But, you know, I mean, you could come in here and you could put, like, you know, find a heart and a smiley face. Okay. Awesome. Then, so there's all kinds of so you can you could you could come in here and, and, and add a picture. You know, I mean so you could you could design this. I don't think you really want to do too much and I'll show you why, but anyway you could if you want to you can just hit next and it's turning and then uh so what it did was it sent it sent an email. Okay, so I'm gonna go and show you an example. Okay. So this is one I did for Spooky Posh. Okay, so I had sent this to myself. So when I typed in, this is for your information or whatever I did, this is Come, hey, beautiful. <laughs> okay, whatever I wrote there. Okay, so, oh no, this was Holly's. I'm sorry, this is what Holly did. So she invited me to her party, and then I would click here to RSVP. So another thing is, is that if you, if you use that dummy um, email address for yourself, then you get your link to your party right here that that that's your link to your party that's one way that you can do it okay let me get back here so can you are you back on the party is my screen share back on the party yes okay all right thank you um so another thing that you can do here is you can you can use this space for specials or announcements or whatever okay can it put it it put it up here the party chat um i haven't had a whole lot of people that really use this yet i think that i i, I would expect that this is going to morph into something much bigger that it's still kind of in the, the testing stages you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so um but what's nice here, if you guys have noticed, is when somebody comes in and puts an order, they'll stay here until so it's order. So when people coming in, they might get excited by seeing that there's people there, you know, that have ordered. Okay. So here's that map I was telling you that's, you know, it, mine always has this wherever this is in Kansas. <laughs> <laughs> I think mine defaults to Indiana. Okay. <laughs> it's just kind of, um, it's just really kind of crazy. Okay. All right. So let me scroll back up here and I want to go over real quick um, doing payments or carts. Here, where am I? I know what I want. I want carts. I get a lot of times customers will say, uh, Camille, I want to order this. Would you please put it in? You know, they'll give me their credit card information and I'll just enter their order right here, you know. So, um, what I wanted to go over is, is 
um, somebody pays, whether they paid or you enter, you know, you enter the information for them, how you check out their cart so that it ships immediately. All right, so one of the first things that that you should do before even adding products is make sure that you have an address in here because if not, then you get all kinds of um, error messages. I'm just making something up. <laughs> All right, so then if my if my address is wrong, it'll tell me, which I, I kind of like. So I'm just going to put what they say. Right. So now it's loaded. Uh, you see the address is there. Okay. Um, and the reason it's easier to do that first is because when you start adding products, it wants to put tax. And then you'll get these error messages if you didn't do it first, which is okay. It's just kind of easier to do. So um, I like to do the drop down, but you can start. I, I tend to do the product name instead of the product number. So um, let's just, I see it right there. Let's say I do BFF. Okay, so it's there. Click on it. I'm going to add that to my cart. Okay. Camille? Yes. Um, I have this uh, reoccurring customer, like almost there. We and she's constantly wanting to order something, and I put her as a guest in, in my party. So does she need to have a, a open cart every time that she wants to order something? She, she orders once a week? Yeah, she's been ordering some, one or two items from me at least every week. Well, I don't really have to say a question. <laughs> uh, I have these it's open like this. I do, I'm trying to do two every week. I just need, I was thinking, I put it in my cart and she just orders through me, but I can have her set, I mean, I can do her a cart for herself, right? So it ships directly to her? Yeah, I mean, she'll pay the shipping. I mean, one of the advantages of any customer putting in their, their or having their own order, whether you put it in for them, but if you put it in for them, you're going to be putting in their email address, but they should be signed up for parts. But that's the advantage is that they get the perks points. Some people don't care about perks points, you know. So I think it's it's just a matter of okay. Let me backtrack. Even if somebody's not signed up for perks, if, when you put in their email address for, for contact, yeah, if they come back and put in their and, and finish their registration for perks, they're going to get those perks from those past purchases. Okay, I see. I, I think I tried to explain that to her. She could get perks on her own, but she doesn't care for them. So I guess that's why she keeps wanting me just to put the order in for her through cart. Right, and that'll happen. And another way you can, you know, kind of help a customer understand perks is just tell them it's ten percent off their next purchase. <laughs> <laughs> I guess she don't care. As many times as I've done this, it's fine. I'll I'll take the perks. <laughs> yeah. Well. So some people like that. I, I I don't know. They they are like that. That's that's, that's <laughs> for sure. I don't know. I mean, I like the perks. <laughs> yeah, bonus. I guess. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, so um, you know, regardless if I'm checking out the customer or whatever, you know, you go in here and you put your payment, you put your credit card. I'm not going to go through that right now to do the to do that part. However, I do have a screenshot. That's not it. Um, <laughs> okay, so let's just pretend that they've already paid, and this is what I'm 
this is the button, the checkout cart that I'm looking for. So I, I go to that and then the system says, are you sure? <laughs> we want to make sure that you want to check somebody out. So remember that when you check somebody out that it closes their cart and it, and it starts to process it immediately for shipment, which is great because traditionally in direct sales, um, people always had to wait to the parties to end before shipments mm -hmm. went. So a lot of people are, they need to know this. They need to know that they have the ability to do this because they're so accustomed to not being able to do it. Right. So, so that's a good one. All right. Um, and then also to whoever, uh, I think, I think that I'm pretty sure about this. As soon as that checks out, you, you get your perks right away. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, um, now I also have, I'll, I'll go on to our, uh, here, I'll just do them real quick. I think, I think they're, they're here. Here it is. I wanted to show, this is the screen if you're on the cell phone, because a lot of our, our consultants are actually using cell phones. So this is pretty easy. Take a screenshot of it. This is how you check out a party cart from your phone. And it's exactly what I had just shown you on the desktop. Okay. And, um, okay, going back. Okay, so if you were in your virtual office, logged in, you click on this down button, go to parties, create a party or my party. Okay, if you want to get your unique uh, URL, your link to your party, this right here is you just click and copy my phone all i have to do is just say copy because it knows it's looking for a, a website so i don't know you have, how your phone works you have to figure it out but that's where you can get it right there and then um right now one of the things i wanted to just go over and mention is this um double and triple perks i got a lot of perks last month from having my open orders I mean, my open parties. Um, but does everybody understand what's going on with these? Mm -hmm. Okay, so like if you have a, a, a party, you get um, only six points if it's under 200. But once you get to 300 in this promotion that goes through the end of December is you get double up to 300 so instead of 10 or say 10 percent you get 20 percent Yay! <laughs> okay that and that's huge i mean that adds up a, a real fast and then anything that's 301 dollars above okay um it is triple okay so so you only get double up to 300 uh, then you get triple at 301, just on those points. And then remember, too, if you get 400, then you get, I forget right now what the bonus is, but you get the bonus, the hostess bonus. I had seen that come in, but I've already forgotten what it was. <laughs> <laughs> Something good, though. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so, um, that's a, you know, that's a, this is a good thing to try to entice. Uh, your hostesses, your prior hostesses, hostesses to have a new party this month to get these perks, and then they'll be able to spend them in January because they the the bonus won't be paid until January because they'll get their regular ten percent, you know, as normal. So. so, does anybody have any questions about the the party stuff? Event. Okay, if I went in and I said I was giving someone free shipping and they paid everything except for the $5.99 and then um, I remember you saying right where the payment balance is that there was, what was the word? 
Um, <laughs> I mean, I was like that. What was the word? Because, um, uh, it was like capture. Capture is the word. Capture. Yes. Capture. So I tried that. It was on my cell phone, so I don't know if it just wouldn't let me on my cell phone. But I tried to do that, and it told me that my uh, card did not match the billing address, and or the yeah the billing address. And so it was my customer's address, but I was trying to add my card onto it, and so it wouldn't let me. And maybe if I did Posh Pay instead, it would have been fine. But I couldn't just put my own uh, I, hmm. do you know i wonder oh i wonder if she selected addresses the same as the billing well, she would have had to when she paid for hers or it wouldn't have it wouldn't have uh, okayed it because the credit card wants the billing address yeah i know but like if you do it through here okay mm -hmm. you just put in your zip code you know when you do it in an event See, there, it does seem as though there's some differences whether if you come to your virtual office and put in the order here or if you put um, like if you put in orders um, right through here like at an individual order these orders here process here show it to you. It's, it's, it's very similar to the, um, to like what we just saw in the, in the cart. See, you add a product. But if you go up here and you shop in, in your cart, this cart that like a lot of customers, it's completely different. Yeah. Okay. And the checkout process is different too. So, all right. Oh, I picked something out. Hey, we're out of stock on that. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Let me pick something. <laughs> Let me pick something that we're not. <laughs> okay, so I put that in my car. I'm going to come back up here and, and just look at it. And so you, you can see. And then the other thing is, too, yeah. I mean, you're off with you. it looks different on your phone, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So see how this is? So I, I, I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to check out. See, you don't have the option here of, you know, typing in BFF or pining for you chunk. The only way you can do this is actually go and click on those products to shop here. It's different. I think it's just, this is more customer friendly. All right, so, so here, this is what I'm wondering if she did. Probably. But, but Melissa, was it a party? It was. Did you try to do, did you try to amend it through the party carts? Or did you try to amend it through your orders? I tried to do it from the party carts. Yeah. So, hmm. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It could have just been, it doesn't like cell phones, doing it from a cell phone, but. <laughs> I had a little bit of trouble the other day, so it could have just been the site the other day, too. Oh, yeah, that could. <laughs> and then also, you know, I'm pretty fast to jump onto that chat uh, support. Oh, yeah. If I'm having problems because that, I mean, they're there for, in my mind, for technical problems. Like, if you have a problem that takes a little bit more time, I would say call it in, you know, or put in a ticket. Um, but for for support stuff like that, I just, you know, because I usually want an answer right away. Yeah. So I would do that. But yeah, I don't know. I, I wish I could, you know, could answer that. But I have had luck in doing I, all last week for, for when was it? Whenever our pink, pink weekends and stuff were, I did several orders with that capture. But it is interesting that there's a lot of different ways that you can you know, do these parts and come up with different things. And, and I just encourage everybody to go and play because even though I put this in my cart, I mean, and I can continue, I'm not really, I'm not going to really put my credit card in it to, you know, to buy it. You know what I'm saying? And then I can always just 
go back here to my virtual office. Look, I have 13,000 parts. That's from pink, my pink, my pink weekend. <laughs> um, then I can go over here to orders and go to order history. And I'll, and I'll be able, I'll be able to see that, but you know, I'm not going to do anything with it. I can edit it. And I have a lot of things, you know, they, they don't, some of these things, they don't let you actually delete them, but you know, it's okay. You, I have a lot of stuff like that. Examples I have left open forever. As long as you don't pay for them, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, guys. Well, anybody else have any um, questions? It doesn't have to be about this. It could be about anything team related or not team related, or it could be about boho soul related. <laughs> <laughs> is Paula still with us? I can see you. Okay. <laughs> well, for some reason, my little thing on the side, because I've got the screen share, I only have four people I can see at one time. I, yeah, I can only see four people. Melissa keeps coming and going. They keep trading in and out. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, maybe if I stop my share. Oh, there we go. Now I've got all five. <laughs> There she is. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope that you guys learned something. Yeah. Yeah. Always. <laughs> always, always have a party open. Right? Yep. All right. <laughs> Bye, Sean, ladies. Hey. I'll be seeing you on Facebook. Good night. Have a good night. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.